My name's George Wilkins. I work a lot in the events industry as a music creator and collaborator, which includes composition, production, live performance on occasions, and working with a whole bunch of people, some of whom have asked me to explain some of the technicalities and legal issues around synchronising music, which means using music in conjunction with a film. And that can be anything from a PowerPoint to a video on the event, or even an upload of the event on something as simple as filmed on a phone. So synchronisation is very common, as I'm sure you realise, and it costs money. Any time that you're using music um, in a business context, buying the CD isn't enough, you have to pay extra. Buying the CD is for a private individual, basically it's a license to play it as many times as you like. Number one, original music, for me it's a no-brainer. Original, creative, cheaper, easier on the admin front. Then you could, number two, is clear the music, but expect to pay through the no's and experience delays or possibly even a flat no at some point in the process. Or number three is not to pay for the music and just use it and run the risk of getting your what's it sued off. So in classic style, we're gonna go in reverse order and start with option three, also known as who wants to get sued? Option number three, which is simply just to go ahead and use the commercial music without getting permission. My very, very firm advice is don't go there. Even if people have got away with this in the past, these days, particularly if the music hits the internet, it is so much easier to detect. The number of private videos, say if someone's barbecue with a commercial track playing in the background, that get taken down within half an hour these days is enormous, thousands per day. But if it's a business user who should have paid for the music, the record company will smell the money. They employ people to scour the internet, they use software, and they will send a lawyer's letter asking for back payment, possibly more than you would have paid in the first place, and they may even sue you for damages. So no one needs that in their life. Option two is so complex it actually needs its own video, which I'll post soon. So let's go straight on to option one. Let's imagine that you've got an event and you want some music written for it. Let me show you some examples, such as this. Welcome to the FIFA Club World Cup UAE 2005 opening ceremony. This. This is the dawn of the age of reason, a revolution in science, philosophy, politics, and society, sweeping away medieval thought. For the Nalette family, it's a period of cautious expansion. This. this. So for me it's obvious, go for the original music. I would say that but I've done it many times and have many, many happy clients. If you want to see more of what I've done or contact me, the web address is www.vividmusicuk.com you're welcome to get in touch, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks.